I've bought this Game Boy Advanced SP off eBay for around £30. Now it's sold as faulty um, and actually all I've tried so far is if we turn it on you get absolutely no power coming through it. So today what we're going to do is see if we can get it working again. So my first thought is, is the battery flat? Um, I mean it's in, it's got some scum around it and things which is not great. What I'll do is I'll get a charger and see if it looks like it's charging. Uh, I'm just going to use a USB charging cable to make it easy. So I can bring in the anchor, anchor power pack. Pop in a Game Boy Advance charger. And okay, so we don't get the charging lights. That's really interesting to me. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my USB uh, test app. See if we're drawing any current at all. Ooh, so I just briefly saw a red light appear there. So I think there's power getting to something in there. See when we first plug it in, we get a brief red light. Then it disappears, it's really interesting. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is get this opened up and uh, we'll see what we can see. Right, just as I was about to take this apart, I had a bit of a thought. I was wondering how much power is in this battery. Um, and if I just quit the multimeter, just test that for DC voltage, we can see it. it's basically empty. I'm wondering if the charging circuit's got under voltage protection or something, which is stopping it trying to charge this battery. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got another Game Boy here. I'm just going to grab the battery out of that and see if it's going to work. Um, this Game Boy, by the way, is for an upcoming uh, project. But let's have a look. So we'll just check the power on this one. Yeah, there we go. Got a nice healthy 4 volts on that one. So let's pop this in here and see if this powers up. Ah, straight away it comes on. Okay, all that might be wrong with this is the battery might be dead. Okay, nice easy fix. What I'm going to do, I'll order a new battery and then we'll go into more detailed testing. Brilliant. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, we might move on to testing this blue one then. Why not? I bought this Game Boy Advanced SP off eBay for around £35. It's in relatively good condition, um, certainly compared to some of the other ones I've seen around this price point. It looks pretty clean, uh, it's got a few cosmetic scratches, but overall I think it's in uh, it's really good nick. One of the big issues though, is if we turn it on, you can hear I think the CPU's working, but the screen only really shows these vertical lines, so where you'd normally get the Nintendo logo, um, we only see these lines. If I just try it with a game, I've got Metroid here. Uh, pop that in. You can see we get exactly the same thing when we get the Nintendo logo. And then moving forward, completely black screen. So I think it's taking like the darkest part of the image um, and striping that across the line. But I can hear the game sounds, so I'm, I'm fairly convinced the game is working. So I think what we need to do is get us apart have a look, um, possibly at the screen connector, um, but we'll have a see and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking the battery out. So this is just a small Philips, uh, which we can just lift the battery cover and then the battery just lifts out. Next, you need a three pointed, uh, I forget the name of this bit, try something, try wing. If you've got an iFixit toolkit or uh, an alternative, uh, at least in here, this is labeled as the Y00. Uh, it seems to fit this quite nicely, so it must be a, a Y bit. It makes, it makes sense, actually, with the three points. Um, so we can just take this apart. Nice and quickly. Okay. Should be 
the top cover off and see the insides. There we are. So we have to be a little careful now because there is uh, a ribbon cable that connects from the far side of this board underneath. Uh, through, I believe it's this side. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. All we're going to do is remove the screws here, here, and here. Uh, and see what else we've got. Please hold the board down. Is there any more? I think that might be it. I've been very careful here with the ribbon underneath. Okay, so what I want to do now, I've got this out, is to try and separate this screen, uh, the glass part of the plastic, you know, screen protectory bit, so we can get to the raw LCD underneath. Um, I think that's part of this black arrangement here. I think we can get in and just pry these bits. And they should just come. It's it's definitely tight to get in there. But there we go. It's coming. Apologies if you can't see that. Um, and then if I just work around each each of these tabs with a little pry bar, eventually it will just work its way loose. There we are. Okay, so you have to be a little careful. Um, as this seems to be attached to the front. Um, but these metal bars here, um, I'm hoping you can see those. Are basically where this ribbon cable soldered on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just try and run the soldering iron um, across the edge of this connector. Just try and reflow any solder um, that might be missing or that might have, you know, worn out in its age or corroded or whatever it is. So let's heat the soldering iron up. Give this a second and then we'll, uh, we'll get some reflowing going. Uh, so the Soldering iron I'm using is the TS80. Uh, just plugged into a USB C adapter. Okay. I've done a similar fix to this on a, a sort of the older school, uh, what do they call them, the, D the DMG, the, the first gen Game Boys. Um, and that worked really well. I 
genuinely have no idea if this type of fix will work on this uh, type of Game Boy. I mean, given the screen's already not functioning, if I can't get it working, I think this one could be a good candidate um, for maybe one of the IPS screen upgrades or um, whatever the newer model is, the AGS 101, I think, uh, has a backlit screen as compared to this one. Um, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm not liking the colour change I'm seeing here. Um, after everything I've read that says this should be okay to do, it still doesn't look as, uh, let's say, resilient to the heat as maybe I was expecting. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do this and then we'll get it back to back together and see how we're looking. Honestly, just the, just the feel I'm getting from this doesn't doesn't feel great if I'm honest. Um, I think I'm gonna do see if I can get this back together with the main board and just see if we're looking better or worse. Right. I don't know. Part part of me is thinking we've just made things worse there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's put this back on for now. Drop the main board. And we connect a battery into this. That's the front, isn't it? So the back is here. And the battery must, ah, uh, battery connects into here. Got it. Uh, so if I take a game, put this in here. The screen connector would come into this side. We should be able to do it. I'm not quite going to clip the screen back together yet, just because I may want to uh, take it apart again if this doesn't, if this look shows improvement but doesn't fully work, then we might want to try again. Um, so that screen connector just pushes in there so we can't see copper. Most of the copper's gone and then we just pull these clips down to hold it in. Uh, and then all we really need after that is a, a battery and we try the power switch. Uh, which will be uh, power switch is on the right hand side, isn't it? Yeah, it's normally down here. It's here. That's the power switch. I think. Is that right? Yeah. So let's grab a battery. Go this way, don't they? Okay, yeah, we've no speaker, but what we can see is we're getting exactly the same thing on the screen. That's a shame. Um, I don't really know where to go from here. Um, I, I really do suspect it's an issue with the screen. Um, given that at least what I know, this main board actually seems in really good good condition. Um, this could actually be a really nice candidate for an IPS screen. Um, so what I'm going to do is order one of those and then I think we'll uh, we'll work on fitting that. Okay, for, for now, I'm just going to pop it back together um, just because it's going to take 
at least a few days, if not a few weeks, um, for one of those screens to arrive. So let's let's get it right together so I don't lose any screws and things. Okay, so both of these two back together. What I've done for now is I've taken the decent battery that was in the blue one, purple one, and put that in the black one. So what we've got now, I've got the game in here. I've got a working Game Boy. Um, that'll play Metroid, loads up, you can get going. That's really cool. Um, blue one, at the minute, I've just put it back together, but the screen's still not working. Uh, I've put the dead battery in it as well. So what I'm going to do, order some other parts, and uh, expect to see a follow-up on this, because I think this, um, especially with its relatively nice case and things, could become the ultimate Game Boy Advanced SP. Okay, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.